what's good gold tribe hope y'all having a good day if you love me like the video if you fuck with me comment subscribe you know what i'm saying i love y'all um and i love you guys to support keep it up it keeps me going the first card we have out here is self pop be positive i just say self positive <laughs> and self-worship um spirit is telling me to pull one more card and guess what three fell out so i have keep going i got traveling more i got queen b and i rock so automatically i just feel like whoever i'm speaking to is definitely heavily heavily protected spirit is calling you to um be more self-loving at this time start worshiping yourself you could be somebody that put a lot of other people on pedestal on the pedestal with this green here i just keep like i feel like spirit is saying go go yeah you definitely could be traveling more in the near future or this is something that you do for work i feel like you're protected heavily protected with this eye of Ra out here Ra is a god Ra is God. We all are gods. And an extension of the most high. Then I got Queen B. So I, I definitely feel like I'm picking up on some royal blood here. Somebody that's very royal. You could be attracted to a lot of um e Egyptian things. Your bloodline could come from Egypt. Something about gold golden or golden age something about um the hieroglyphs you should also look more into runes i'm hearing fix my life iyama so you could even be going to therapy or you could be a therapist or something about your life is being fixed i feel like you probably been somebody that's been going through a lot of hardships lately but little do you know, you're the child of, I'm hearing the child of favor. I don't even know where that came from. Like the whole, but I just feel like I'm hearing you're a child of God. There's, there's something very ancient and royal about you, about your soul, about your blood. You could have been a um, pharaoh in a past life. I don't know why I'm seeing somebody being wrapped and mummified when they died. I'm also seeing gold caskets. Gold may be your favorite color or gold looks really good on you. You could have just bought something that was gold, gold necklace or something like that. But I feel like you're finna be gifted something when it comes to your abundance, when it comes to your um tangible materialistic things. You may not even be that type of person, but it's in your own um, birthright to have these things. I just heard she's a reader. So I could even be talking to a reader, tell a reader. Something about your your hands as well. You do something with your hands. You could even do hair, nails. But whatever you touch turns to gold, I'm hearing. It's like your touch is healing. And it's important for you to be in high high vibra in a high vibrational mood, eating high vibrational foods and stuff like that, because you don't understand how powerful you are. You could be somebody um, not you could be, but you definitely are someone who, when you in a bad mood, people around you in a bad mood because your mood, your, your energy is very powerful. It jumps out on other people. Or when you're in a good mood or somebody else is in a bad mood, all it takes for you to do is smile at them or touch them. And you bring some type of, it's like you share your light with them. I'm hearing self-pleasing. There's a need for you to self-worship. You may be mesmerized by something, or people may be mesmerized by you. Give me something, spirit. I don't know why I'm seeing you flipping the pages. You may even be like, like you're, you, you, uh, la, 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 I can't even speak. You may be someone that loves to read or you do something with pages or I'm hearing li librarian. You could work in a library or going to the library or something like that might be your favorite place. 
Okay, you might even like Beyonce, because I got Queen B out here. Even though they're talking about you, your name could start with a B. I'm hearing boss bitch. I'm hearing that heavy. I feel like you care about people a lot, too. Give me something, spirit. I got the fool. So, yeah, there's definitely about to be some type of um, new beginning in your life. I feel like you don't see this, but you can feel it. Or if you can't feel it, brace yourself because it's coming. I feel like whatever this is, is heavily protected. I'm hearing your money is protected. I'm hearing you are protected. And I just saw the tower card popping out. So I definitely feel like this is going to be something very unexpected but necessary. You may even feel like right now that everything is going down. Like you could have lost your car. You could have lost a loved one. You could be losing friends. You could have lost your job. It's like everything is going to be stripped away from you so you can get everything new. There's a need for you to meditate and get some rest. I feel like spirit speaks to you through your dreams. You could also be somebody that wears crystal or there's a need for you to get a crystal. Maybe even an amethyst crystal. See, she got this purple crystal right here. I just saw 616. Maybe you need to look that up. I just feel the energy of you're going to be taken care of. Like, you're taken care of. Something about your third eye as well. You could even be getting, like, headaches. Really bad headaches. That spirit upgrading you. That spirit upgrading you spiritually. Something about trust as well. Because if you notice, this girl here seems like she's about to just fall back. Because she trusts in the universe. So there's a need for you to trust in the universe. I'm also hearing trust yourself. Trust the decisions that you that you make. Or that you've been making. Because I feel like you're a very great decision maker. Also too. There, um, I feel like spirit didn't bless you with, with this money. Or whatever money you're waiting on. Because mother, father, God was waiting on you to um become more financially um financially literate they was waiting on you to learn how to save money yeah getting away from um earthly desires or something like that with this four swords here I you notice that she's like in a nest. I don't know why I was about to say in a web. But something about you getting out the nest, you're flying out the nest. You could even be somebody that um has lived with your mom for a long time or your parents for a long time. And it's time for you to, I'm hearing, f fly, birdie. Free yourself. Your parents could have told you you could stay with them until you get your money right. Or they could just be hoarding over you like very controlling and possessive and, and kind of just don't want to let you go you definitely going through a, some sort of rebirth i'm hearing help is coming soon i'm also getting like bartering bartering trading goods you could even be like some about forex trading or something like that I'm also getting like the energy of some ancient money being released to you. You really have ancient blood. Something is something something is like you're about to receive some sort of inheritance. Not only physical but spiritual as well. Especially with this death card here, because it's it speaks about rebirth. Some something about you being transformed in your sleep. You could even be feeling very tired lately. Like, feeling very tired, very drained. Y'all notice, like, this symbol here. Infinity symbol. So, no matter how many times you reincarnate or wherever you reincarnate at, you will always be taken care of. Always. You got the king of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. With the eight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. Now, with this, I just feel like spirit is telling you, I'm getting two energies out this eight of pentacles. You don't have to work too hard. That's not what you came here to do. You didn't come here to be busting your ass and working hard on somebody else's job. I feel like you, you're supposed to be working for yourself. You're not going to get this inheritance and this blessing until you start working for yourself. You could even be somebody that has a restaurant. Or you cook food or something about your food and you cooking people makes people very happy. I told you everything you touch 
is golden. It brings people up. You could even be somebody that grows food. I can I see somebody who has a vegan restaurant as well. I'm seeing everything plant based. Or you could be vegan, or this is what spirit is asking you to do. Clean up your diet. Definitely because it makes you stronger. Ten of Pentacles is is definitely um in my third eye like. I'm hearing like um, generational wealth. This also has something to do with family. So yeah, that's bringing me right back to it. Something about, um, I don't know why I just heard HIV positive. And then I heard you heal, you heal. So something about sick people. You heal the sick. You heal the physically sick and mentally sick. Yeah, with this five of swords here, this person look like they got a headache. I f I'm hearing like lost a battle. So if somebody was throwing some type of magic at you or something like that, they lost a battle, lost a spiritual battle. Whoever this person is that felt like they had someone up on you or they was trying to control you, this could have been somebody that was trying to control you with money. I'm picking up on like a boss-like energy. They could have even told you that if you stay to your job or whatever, they'll give you a raise or they hired you and said, you know, like I'm picking up on somebody who could have said, for instance, you was working at a restaurant, right? And you quit the job at the restaurant, but you was the manager there, but it was just a really shitty job. And you went to another job and they don't want to give you that management position knowing that you come from a management background. Because they trying to save money or they trying to keep all the money for themselves or something like that. This person, this boss could have told you that they was going to give you a, a raise or make you management after 30 days or something like that. But it never happened. I feel like you leaving, that's going to bite them in their ass. Because honestly, you the best thing done. You the best thing at, that, at the job. Yeah, I just saw the star card. You supposed to be doing something to help people when it comes to like spirituality you're not supposed to be working give me one more card and i just saw one two three four and all these cards fell out then i told y'all i was getting ten of pentacles energy so i'm hearing old money and new money generational money Yeah, you were definitely guided to walk away from something. Spiritually guided to walk away from something. I don't know why I feel like you left the church or something about leaving church. I'm, and I, then I just heard it's a fraud in the church. You may even feel like the preacher's a fraud. Now I'm picking up on like the preacher sleeping with the congregation. Wow. If you've been thinking about love, Spirit said it's not the right time right now. Self-love is more important for you. Yeah, then I got the sun card. So, first of all, with the sun card, I just feel like that spirit telling me, yes, you're right. You're on the right track. The nine of pentacles here. Nine of pentacles is all about self-love. There was a need for you to use more logic when it comes to certain situations, when it comes to your money. The King of Swords is a very businessman. That, if you notice that owl is right there, there's a need for you to look up the um the meaning of an owl, maybe even a bat and a crow as well. I'm also getting like a warrior spirit, but with this owl here, I just feel very heavy wisdom. Something about your wisdom, something about ancient knowledge is very powerful. You can teach people or something. You could even be a teacher. You may have a wet mouth. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. <laughs> or something about water and being wet. Then I got the sun card here. So that means good health. With the with the um ace of pentacles, you know, pentacles represent health, earthly things. So I definitely feel like you're you're somebody that heals. And you're a healer with your hands. And earlier I was talking about cooking, right? Look. She got pentacles in there. She picking her um it is it's, it's pen, pentacles off the tree. That bird may very may be very significant as well. I'm hearing purity with this white here. 
You could be somebody that looked like her, hair type, and everything. But um, she's picking the plants off the tree and she cooking them. You could even be somebody that works at night and you want to change that. Or something about at night, your visions are more clear at night or you're more um tapped in at night or something like that. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. I really love and appreciate you. If you got this far, trust me, I do. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Just in case y'all didn't see that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye. Mm -hmm.